Hey what's up guys I met here. In today's video I am going to show you how to install all store on your devices running iOS 26. Obviously this method is also compatible with the lower versions. Before we start if you are new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So first of all if you check out the requirements then you need to be running at least iOS 14 and even the latest iOS 26 version works as well. It works with both macOS as well as Windows. But on Windows, you will need to have iTunes and iCloud for Windows installed because if you do not have these applications installed, your iPhone won't be recognized by your computer. While on macOS, you can directly go to the All Store website and here scroll down to get All Store. And here it is All Server macOS. It requires macOS 11 or later. While you can head over to Frequently Asked Questions if you are on macOS 10.14. 10.15 first of all i'll have to unzip it and here is the file you can either directly start it or you can move it to the applications after that go to the launch pad and you'll have to open the old server so here tap on open then click allow and after that you'll see that the icon will show up here other than that you need to have your iphone connected with your mac or pc here you can see that currently my device is connected with the mac that's why it will also show up in the install old store tab also make sure both of the devices are on the same wi-fi network here you can see that currently my iphone 16 pro as well as the mac mini is connected with the imat wi-fi connection let me show you here it is after that just go to old store and here select iphone 16 pro or whatever device you are using you will have to enter your apple id credentials here it is only sent to apple for authentication and it's a totally safe method but i would still recommend you to use a spare apple id once you have entered the details click on install and wait for it to finish installing and once the installation finishes you will see the old store in your applications so let me open it here you can see that it is from an untrusted developer so now what you need to do is just go to your settings here go to general you will need to scroll all the way down to vpn and device management and here we have the developer app go here and trust your email id then also go back to the main screen and scroll all the way down to privacy and security then scroll down once again and you will find developer mode here you will need to have it turned on and i'm gonna turn it on now so my device is now restarting that's why the screen is stuck here so my device has turned back on let me reconnect it with the mac so my iphone has turned back on now let me take you to all store and here it has turned on click on allow and after that you can see that there are a lot of applications given here you can add many sources in it we have services tab we have browse my apps and settings if you have an app available in your files you can click on this plus icon and it will take you to files so i have this ipa file here you can go to this website it is called iosninja.io it has a lot of ipa files for whatsapp snapchat and many other applications you can find a lot of applications here so i have this battery life ipa i'm going to share it with my iphone 16 pro after that tap on the plus icon and here you will find the battery life.ipa select it and here you can see that currently it is installing and once you install your first application it will again ask you for the apple id credentials just enter them here make sure you are entering the same apple id here after that click on got it and now let's wait for you to finish the installation and now the application has been installed so guys this is how easy it is to install all server and install the ipa files here is the application we installed I hope this video helps you out. If it did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the future videos. I will see you in the next one.